Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Riley, and wow, I am so excited to be putting out this video. I feel like I say that about almost every video, but seriously, this one is one of my favorites because I have been slaving away over my first ever full year custom bullet journal, and I made this for my Etsy shop. Now, this one wasn't actually a custom order because I needed to kind of have something to put on my listing for those custom bullet journal orders. So I decided to make this little guy right here that kind of sports all of the different options that I wanna offer in these custom journals. So I used a different theme for every single month. I have a bunch of different weekly spreads that people can choose from when they order these, a bunch of different monthly options as well that people can choose from. And so that's what this journal is, just kind of a catalog of all the different types of spreads that I wanna offer in these custom journals. And yes, it is listed on Etsy and I'm so excited. So if you do wanna check it out on Etsy. I'll have that link in the description below. So here's the journal itself. They come in a few different colors. I have light gray, light blue, dark blue, and pink. And this one I decided to put in the light gray journal. So for the yearly title page, I just did a really simple 2021 little banner because this journal does span from January to December of 2021. And heads up, my favorite themes are by far March, May, and November. So if you see the first two and you're like, meh, stick around. Trust me guys, I am loving those ones. So I started off with some pretty basic spreads. I've got a future log where there's space to write down notes for all of the months. If there are certain events or things like that that you want to write down. And then I've got January. So each page has a little title page like this, or sorry, each month has a title page. And some of them were inspired by pins, maybe about like four or five. And so those pins are linked below. And one of those is January. I did get this idea from someone else on Pinterest. So you can find the original post linked in the description. Now, I also give the option for different types of monthly spreads, like events or habit trackers, mood trackers, brain dumps, whatever. So this one has a list style events calendar and then a space to track habits and mood. Now, I also played around with a bunch of different weekly layouts. And because this one is just kind of the like prototype, I tried them all in this journal. We're starting off the year just with three days and then I leave spots for like notes and tasks and things like that. And in this journal, I've just got really generic spots. So I've got notes, tasks, events, and next week. But of course, any client can customize. If you want these boxes to have different things like a shopping list or you wanna separate like work tasks from personal tasks, we can definitely do that too. So here's February. I think it's so cute. I've never seen this theme done before, but it's just a cute little gumball machine with the perfect like bubblegum pink and some nice bubble letters, which I thought was pretty fitting. There's a brain dump with the title page and then a different style of an events calendar here. So this one's more like calendar style. And then again, a habit tracker and mood tracker. And the weekly layout here is the same idea as January's. All right, so March, like I said, one of my favorites. I did get this idea from Pinterest, so I'll post that original pin down in the description box below. But I am loving these jellyfish with like the white gel pen on top. Oh, it was so fun. This is one I might recreate. But anyways, this one's got a brain dump as well, a title page, and then a larger events calendar. So all of these are things that the client or the customer can choose exactly what they want. Here I've got a different weekly layout going on where the day boxes are a lot smaller and there's a lot more space for like notes. And this one has a shopping list and next week, and this one actually has a mini habit tracker since there was no monthly habit tracker. So that's an option too, if you wanna track habits on a weekly basis instead of on a monthly scale. You'll also notice this one doesn't have any doodles um, on the weekly layouts. And so there are two options that I offer, the full doodle journal and the minimal one. And so this month would be an example of a minimal journal spread. It's got no doodles on the weekly pages, just on the bigger monthly pages. Here is April with a little Polaroid theme, and this month came with a quote, capture the moment. Then we've got that list style events calendar, a habit and mood tracker, where you'd want to flip the journal on its side to use them. And then a new weekly layout, which I personally like to use for myself because I love having these big, tall boxes so I can separate like tasks on the top, events on the bottom, or something like that. So this is one of my personal favorite weekly layouts just for practicality and functionality in my own life. Okay, so I said May was another one of my favorites, and I think this one is number one for me. I love the muted green. I only chose one color in this month to work with, and the rest is all black and white. I also really like the quote that I chose too, fill your life with adventures and not things. 
So I think this one came together really well. And this is an example of like the full doodle journal that I mentioned. So yeah, it's got the events, habits, and mood. And you can see every single week has a doodle that goes along with it. So instead of just having the heading May week three, there's also a little doodle. Here is June, and in June I accidentally switched these pages, so I meant to do the title page before all of those trackers, but either way, this was just my test run. I'll probably give it away as a Christmas gift, um, so I figured it would be okay for whoever's receiving it. So this one's got a title page and a little quote, and this is the theme that I've been wanting to try in my own journal, just like a road trip theme with a real emphasis on like road signs, and I've never seen it done before, so I thought it was pretty unique. Then we've got our events calendar, space to track habits and mood, and then all the weekly layouts. And again, this is an example of like the full doodle spread. So every single page has a little doodle that matches that theme. Now I wanted to do one really bright summery theme and I decided to do that for July and I love it. I especially love the font. This is a totally new font for me that I just kind of was playing around with and I really love how it turned out. So we've got our events calendar, a place to track our habits and our mood as usual. And then another weekly layout, very similar to like January and February where you've got the days of the week on the inside and then you can kind of use the margins for whatever you want. Now somehow I miscounted how many weeks are in this month, so I had to combine week three and week four together, but again, it's a gift. I'll give it to my sister or something, and I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Now for August, I did a cute little like ice cream treat theme in this pinkish purplish color, and I've switched the order of things a little bit. So I've got a habit tracker over here with a bigger doodle on it, and then an events list and a brain dump on the next few pages. Here's another new weekly spread that I haven't done in this journal yet, um, where I just split the page into eight even sections and it's very, very minimal. So there are no doodles, just sort of the key color running throughout the week. All right, here's September. I had to include a yellow theme. Yellow is my absolute favorite color. So I do like how this one turned out with the little daisies. Then we've got a big events calendar. And again, this sort of weekly layout where the days are rather small, but then there's lots of space for other things. Here's October. I really like how this one turned out. This is another one that I've been meaning to do in my own bullet journal, just these little waves. I think they're really, really cute. So we've got our events, we've got our habit and new trackers. And then this is the same monthly or sorry weekly spread that you saw in August where it's divided into like eight equal sections, but this one has even more color in it. All right, I mentioned November was another one of my favorites and I really do love this. I think this page got a little bit crowded. I might go back and redo like if I were to redo it, I would have a little bit less going on, but I really love the color scheme and I like the little doodles and I do like the quote too, when it rains, look for rainbows. And I've got this nice big calendar, which I think looks so cute just with all the different colors for this month. And here's a new weekly spread and honestly one that I really love. So all the days of the week are over here and then since these boxes are a little bit smaller, I kind of compensated for that by leaving a space for events on the side here. So you can write all of the events for each day of the week down here. And then here's more of a space for like tasks or maybe appointments or whatever you want. And finally, December. December, I just did a really classic like Christmas style theme. Basic Christmas colors, a few Christmas trees, We've got our events and habits and mood trackers all over here. And then the same sort of weekly styles I used for November. So we've got the spot for events here and then all the days of the week on the right page. And that's the entire journal. So this is a 160 page journal and doing all 12 months filled the entire journal. I had like one page extra. So I think this was a great fit and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out and so happy to have these listed in my Etsy shop. I'm honestly just excited to get going with that. So if you are interested in that, feel free to check out the description for my Etsy shop link. 
Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed flipping through this custom bullet journal. I am definitely hoping to post more of these on my channel as I get some orders here on Etsy. And if you're interested in checking out more of these journals, again, you can find the link to my Etsy shop in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like and I hope to see you guys in the next one.